I'm back at it again with a food vlog. Um, and today we are gonna do ice cream. Um, we listened to you guys' feedback, so we're gonna try to implement that in this new video. Um, and it seems like everybody liked it the first time, so. Um, first things first, we got Enchanted Cakes. We're here in Parkville. Let's check it out. Okay guys, we have a s'mores milkshake here. Looks like chocolate ice cream, maybe swirled with some like marshmallow and chocolate in the cup. Um, you got your s'mores toppings on top and a cookie with marshmallow on top, whipped cream, graham cracker, maybe with icing around the side. I'm super excited to try this. I'm getting the first sip. Tastes like chocolate. Tastes like chocolate? Is that it? Is it gimmicky? No, just... It's thick. I mean, it tastes alright. Let's see what this chocolate marshmallow is talking about. Oh, it's gimmicky. It's 7 out of 10. What you got? I'll give it a 6. It's boring. Basic. Also... <laughs> Here are my ice cream sunnies. Yes, do I have sunnies for each pair of food I like? Yeah, the ones I'm very passionate about. I don't have this shirt, but I hope this is like colorful sure. enough. <laughs> Alright, Okay guys, so we're here at Crazy Mason Milkshake Bar here in Ellicott City, about 30 minutes from the Baltimore area. Um, I got the Holy Chocolate Chip Cannoli Milkshake. It's milk and cookies ice cream and it has a cookie and a cannoli on top with chocolate chips stuck to icing around the rim. Um, the milk and cookie ice cream was actually really good. I haven't had milk and cookie ice cream that was as good as this one um so i give the ice cream itself like an 8 out of 10. my cookie was average maybe below average i would give it a 6 out of 10 and my cannoli was okay um that could get a 6.5 out of 10. not the best but not the worst i've had um and then the milkshake together as a whole I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. Um, the line was pretty long to get in. We waited around 40 minutes and then when we left, the line was out the door like halfway up the block. Like it was insane. But I would definitely come back. Okay, so and here we have the sweet cheeses. It's filled with a bunch of goodies. Um, strawberry cheesecake ice cream in a strawberry swirl jar with a vanilla buttercream rim rolled in crushed cones topped with a slice of cheesecake fresh strawberries graham cracker crumbs and finished with strawberry sauce and whipped icing so that on paper sounds really good but is it actually good the answer is yes i am not a milkshake person um but this one is definitely worth it um to start things off the cheesecake in it of itself is actually amazing i thought it was just some like walmart cheesecake that they just threw on top just for gimmicks this one is actually super soft um and it like literally melts right in your mouth as soon as you take a scoop um and the cheesecake itself or the milkshake itself I used the spoon the whole time to scoop it out, but the ice cream was really good. Um, everything else is really good. I got this as a nine out of 10. All right, I have salty caramel ice cream here. We are at the Charmery here in Baltimore. Um, it's a pretty Baltimore 
stable ice cream place, I guess you could say. A lot of people love it. I've had it once before. Not the biggest fan, but I'm here to give it a second chance. Here we go. Not too bad. Um, salty, caramelly. Uh, a seven, honestly. Get it. Wow, okay. Nah, this shit's certified, I'm not gonna lie. Let's try that again. You guys watching this at home, if you can envision yourself eating a salted caramel ice cream, this is exactly what that tastes like. So, I'm gonna give this, I think I got this at 8.9 out of 10. Um, we're here in Baltimore City. We just went to Taharka Bros. I have honey graham ice cream. Just a kitty scoop, because I'm getting full. If we're keeping it one hundo. Lego. That's really fucking good. Real good. Um. This is going to be a solid 9 out of 10. Wow, 9 out of 10 from you. Hey, good. Alright, let's see what the hype is about. She's talking about this is a 9 out of 10 and she's a very tough critic. So they got to be doing something right, but I don't know. We'll see. Side. It's a seven and a half out of ten for me. You're wrong. It's, it's, there's really nothing like memorable to it. There's no signature. Like, I think I might might be desensitized once again because this is our fourth place, right? It I, maybe. I think this is our fourth place, so I think I'm just like, I don't know. I can't taste it anymore. Let's see again. No, it tastes like what it's supposed to. It's a good taste. You can't go any higher than seven and a half out of ten, guys. I'm sorry. Disrespectful. All right, guys. We're here at Be More Lick. Is it Be More Licks? Whoops, this is her favorite place. Um, this is deep in the city. Um, right next to us is this Patterson Park, right? Mm -hmm. Patterson Park, so this is pretty deep uh, downtown. Good old Eastern Avenue. Eastern Avenue, she says. This is her favorite ice cream spot in Maryland. So we'll see what the hype is about. Here we got the banana pudding. Let's see, let's give it a shot. Hmm. First impression. Kind of tastes like a banana split, low key. Banana pudding for sure, I can pick up. But it's not too, it's not too overwhelming. It's not too like, I don't know. It's not too like, I would say memorable either. You're taking too long, I want some. It's okay, I think this is a, this is a 7.6 out of 10. I don't know about that, babe. Okay, guys, it is my turn for the review. Banana pudding is one of my favorite desserts slash flavors. I'm ready. Just like banana pudding. This is delicious. I want to give this a 9.5 out of 10. Tastes exactly like banana pudding banana pudding and ice cream 9.5 are you giving it like a high grade because you want to keep up like the reputation or is it really a 9 out of 10 9.5 is it really a 9.5 out of 10 or you just want to keep yes. up this literally tastes 
exactly like banana pudding. I would say so, yeah. I think it tastes just like it. I don't know. I like my ice cream a little, like, real soft. Like, I want it, like, I want it to melt ASAP. It's one of those kind of, like, cold stone creamery type, like, texture where it doesn't, like, you kind of have to kind of chew it a few times for it to, like, fully melt. So, I can't go any higher than 7.9 out of 10 despite the hype, guys. But you're only chewing it because there's vanilla wafers, banana in here. That's what you gotta chew. It just doesn't melt. The ice cream doesn't melt ASAP. It's not soft. You see? Look, you're about to chew it for five minutes for it to melt. That's not how ice cream is supposed to be. I disagree. Different strokes for different folks. There you have it, folks. All right, guys, quick recap on what we did today. We ended up going to five places. Uh, we had six in mind to start, but it became apparent to us after like the second place that we're not gonna be able to eat all this ice cream. So we just ended up going to five. All right, so um, we're just gonna recap like which we think, which ones we think were the best and which one kind of disappointed us. Um, so I'm gonna start with me. I think what didn't live up to the hype for me was Be More Licks. Um, that's something I'm sorry. That's that's something that's like your favorite Place uh, to get ice cream in Maryland, but it just didn't live up to me I mean if you blindfolded me and you gave me cold stone and that I won't be able to tell the difference so That one was kind of disappointing and the winner for me. I would say um, Pound for pound. I would say the charmery um, I had the salted caramel from there like the ice cream was like out of the park for me like the consistency like I didn't have to chew through it um, the ice cream it actually like just melts as soon as you like obviously take a scoop um, but overall I think I, I gave the best rating the crazy Mason because they just had a better presentation and just had more stuff in it but I think pound for pound when you're talking when you're talking just the ice cream I think you can't go wrong with the charmery so that's my overview on that what do you have my favorites be more licks. My banana pudding ice cream was, I think if you want softer ice cream, they have so many kinds of soft serve ice cream. If you want a softer kind of ice cream, get soft serve. Like ice cream is ice cream. I slice on my banana pudding, I'm full. But I want my ice cream to have stuff in it. Like if it's banana pudding, I want the vanilla wafers. I want the banana pudding. I want that in my ice cream. Same with any other flavor. But anyway, that's my favorite. They've never disappointed me before in my life. And my least favorite was mm, probably Enchanted Cakes for real. Mm -hmm. Boring, basic, that's how I felt the first time I went there. Um, but yeah, fun day. Other than that, I'm cool. Yeah, I would agree with that too. That Enchan Enchanted Cakes, I mean, if you guys go to Instagram, look it up on Google. It's, it's got an amazing presentation. Um, as you guys saw on the video that I posted or the video earlier, earlier on in the video, it looks a lot like better than how it actually tasted. So, yeah, Also, kind of side note, I also want to mention that you thought your Crazy Mason was really good and I thought it was not good at all. And I felt the same thing about the one you had from Crazy Mason's. You thought it was great. I thought it was super mid. I probably could have whipped that up. Go I to mean, Walmart, whip that up in 10 minutes. I don't disagree that it was just average. But I really did not like yours. You think it was too sweet? Right? Too artificially sweet. Well, there you guys go. That's two different perspectives and basically all the places that we went to. Um, mm -hmm. So that's the second vlog that we've done. I mean, I'm stuffed with ice cream. Like, I, I don't want to think about ice cream for like the next two weeks. So... <laughs> I'll have ice cream tomorrow. There you go. But um, yeah, I mean, let us know how you guys uh, like this video. Um, give us, you know, feedback. Again, like we did last time, we kind of listened to that and we just kind of tweaked a few things. So give us feedback. Tell us how you like it. Um, and support the vid. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>